Hi, I'm Dan Cordopassi. Welcome to Layout Building. In this episode, I'm going to do a quick update on the O-Scale layout Nicole and I built in our game room. The three-rail O-Scale shelf layout that we built in our game room is a simple display loop that goes around the walls of the room. There are no turnouts or complicated track work. If you're curious about how this layout was built and haven't already watched it, there's a four-part series on the construction process here on the channel. In this update, I'm going to talk about how I improved the flow of electricity to the layout and how I added some LED light strips. The layout is built using Lionel Fast Track. After running the layout for a while, we noticed that the locomotive would slow down noticeably on the far side of the room. Sometimes it would also stall in the corner. Though I installed two terminal sections when I built the layout, I only wired up the one above the power pack. I was hoping I wouldn't need the second one, but I put it in just in case. I'm glad I did. The second terminal section is near the middle of the far wall, about halfway around the loop from the first one. I decided I needed to wire it up to get more power to that area. I used some two-conductor cable designed for low-voltage landscaping lights, mostly because I thought it would make for a neater installation than two separate wires. Both wires are 14 gauge, so they should be plenty big enough to carry power to the other side of the room. I installed four connectors on the ends and connected the wire to barrier strips near the terminal sections. To keep things neat, I used some cable clamps to secure the wire to the top of the shelf behind the track. The shelf is above eye level, so the wiring isn't visible at all when you're standing in the room. Wire is a more reliable conductor than the rails alone, and seeing the train run on the far side of the room without slowing made it worth the effort. This was a huge improvement. As it is with most layouts, keeping the track clean helps the train to run better. I don't have a track cleaner car, so I just do it by hand. The track is pretty high up, so I get on a stool to clean it. I use a paper towel and spray a small amount of electrical contact cleaner on it. Then I just wipe. It takes a few minutes to get around the whole 36 by 15 foot room, but so far I haven't had to do this that often. The larger O scale equipment seems less sensitive to dirty track than HO or N scale. When we built the room, we installed an outlet up in the train shelf area that's controlled by a switch down below, with the thought that sometime we might want to put some lighting up on the shelf. The other switch is for a ceiling fan that hasn't been installed yet, which is why it has tape on it. I found an LED light strip set on Amazon.com that I thought might work. These can change colors, either using the remote that comes with the lights or a phone app. The set comes with the power supply and two 50-foot strips, more than enough to go around the whole track. The LED strips are wound around the things that look like old-style tape reels. The light strips are peel and stick. Installing these was really easy. I checked the clearance by the plug-in transformer since it sticks out a little, but there was no issue. The strips can also be cut. I trimmed a little off the end of one so that the light strips met each other on the far side of the room without overlapping too much. With the room lights off, the LED light strips really highlight the shelf. Using the remote allows for simple color changes, but if you use the phone app, automated lighting effects become available. Nicole and I think this looks pretty neat. It's pretty cool with the lights on, too. I'm pretty happy with the updates that I made to the layout. The train's running a lot better and the lights look really neat. Nicole and I are pretty happy with it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Stay tuned and thanks for watching. <laughs>